Welcome back, fellow lizard friends. We are in Golden Dawn. We... yeah. Didn't play in some time, at least I didn't. Yeah, we're back. It's the... Uh, what is it? I think the 13th of November or something? Yeah, I think the 13th of November for me. When this episode comes out, it's for you already the end of November, I think. So I'm still a bit in pre-producing. Uh, yeah, I lost a bit where we were. Like, let's let's check the map. Last time we were <laughs> caught in this uh, steps of torment that we completely didn't know what we were <laughs> into. Um, we went to the Broken Hills. We did like the Twin Ports area, everything there. This was a dead end. There wasn't anything continuously. Um, yeah, that's where we came from. This should be Devil's Crossing with everything above it. So, yeah, we are here now. Where are we? Yeah. This was a dead end, this is a dead end. So we're supposed to go up the bridge still. And last time I found already the entrance to this uh, area, I think, no? I'm really a bit confused. I didn't cut yet the last episode, so I'm not gonna really show where we were. But I think last time was it here that we found the entrance to this uh, place, or was it here? No, I think it was here. We found the entrance to this uh, smuggler's tunnels that we're supposed to go because we're supposed to go to Homestead. First, we need a bit of help with our friends, of course. We're supposed to go to Homestead, I remember. And there. Broken hills, coming through tunnels. Yeah, the problem was that this uh, bridge is destroyed, so we have to go to the smuggler's pass. There's no other way. She says, uh, that we can't go anywhere else. And I wonder where this is leading because here we also found like a mine entrance or something. But I'm not a thousand percent sure anymore that it was there. Because it's, a bit, it's been some days. We are Necromancer still. Now we also looked apart. Pretty mighty. We're playing the game on normal difficulty because I want to, of course, enjoy with you the story part the most. So that we don't get into problems with all the like, enemies and stuff, I decided to play on normal difficulty. But of course, you already know because you follow this channel for some time now, so you already know all of this. <laughs> We have been there already. Let's see what this mysterious way is leading to. But I think we also need to go back one uh, part to find out where this uh, tunnels were leading to. Ah, I remember we found Elsa the last time, the girl we were looking for a long time. And uh, she told us that there's trolls and materials or possessed ones fighting in these tunnels so that it's like really unsafe to go there. Dangerous domain. Hmm. Generating monsters have highly enhanced, ha enhanced health and energy re regeneration, but are more susceptible to acid poison and bleeding. Oh, good that we don't have any of those. This may be a dead end on this microstone, it's only there. Maybe. Mm, let's see, I think we can still kill them. Just need to be a bit careful, maybe, if it's a dangerous area. We know that dangerous areas are like uh, places where we have a higher chance of loot. Like a ton of white lessons. A Korean Colosseum. Okay, that's not the way I think to the smuggler's tunnels. That is something else. Doesn't mean it has to be a bad way, no? Maybe it's cool. Let's see. Looks pretty interesting to me. Hmm. That's a boss. Fast one. Hmm. 
no problem at all. That was pretty easy. I wonder if this is a dead end at the end. Dangerous domain, I guess, over some kind of boss fight. I mean, it's a Colosseum that sounds like a cool uh, boss fight. Just want to clear up here so that we don't get into uh, problems from enemies shooting out of our range. Also check for special treasures. Like this one. Bus coming. That's kind of easy. I get a lot of reputation with the rovers. That's also pretty cool. and everything because it's so confusingly cut here. So are the Colovians at the end representing something like or the Arcovians uh, are the Arcovians at the end representing something like Roman Empire society? Sounds like it a lot because uh, being decadent, being too proud, uh, too, too proud of their what uh, what they accomplished, having troubles with the uh... wall. Downfall of them was also a really big topic, no? Like all this same stuff, and it reminds me. This guy just went up again. Oh, cool. 
I hate bosses doing this. That skill's not ready. Active Trend is highly tanky, but um, it's still, still a lot, and it's still, still kind of dangerous. All this earth shaking and stuff doesn't look like a lot of fun. But I'm still kind of calm. I'm wondering myself. But most of the after like dying. So that we are losing our friends all the time and that we have to have them in order to be able to do anything. It does do a lot of damage and she heals up all the time. It's crazy. So if we stop attacking him. Just heats up like crazy. That skill's not ready. I don't really know how to defeat him because he's always like full health every time. I have to get him down somehow. Even though I don't have any idea how. Yeah, we did it. I guess that was the big uh, enemy here. Really? That wasn't easy. Not at all. But we did it. Now what are you going to do after I defeated this huge guy? Do you think I'm afraid of you? Hey! It was the Colosseum, I guess. It's a kind of good thing we only came here now because uh, basically we could have gone here like the first time we set food in this area, but then he would have just beaten us up so badly. Now we're already a bit experienced and also stronger. Stronger than ever. Stronger than ever. Ooh. It's much more easy like this. With all the experience we got. All the skills we have now. Let's say we defeated the dangerous zone. What is this up there? 
And we weren't in the middle also. There's always all this uh, stuff lying around on the ground so that we can't pass everywhere. That's kind of annoying. Can't pass here. Oof. We were here, that's where we defeated the guy. We've been on the ranks outside. So we've also been here, but we didn't uh, check this. Okay, that's there. Do I think? Got it. For some reason, there's like stuff up here that I don't have any idea how it came to be here. I don't know at all. But, uh, okay. That's it. Okay, so we have to go down here where we found the entrance to the smuggler tunnel thingy. We just have to find out how we get here. Ah, and we have, of course, the new uh, the book. What's this? Eldritch Essence. Okay, I guess like some... Um, some... Uh, what do you say? Some uh, reagent for crafting, I guess? I hate that it always sorts it so terrible. Just not much fun to sort stuff like this. Um... Colosseum horse. What does it say? I joined my colleagues at the Colosseum to watch the gladiators battle. It was a perfect day, perfect weather, warm with a slight breeze coming off the river. Joined by good friends and a few skins of Elbrook's golden wine, we even got good seats from a wealthy merchant who wouldn't get away from some business he had to attend to. We could not believe the fortunes that smiled upon us. We were prepared for a great showing of bravery and excitement. What we saw instead was a nightmare. The first match was a simple duel between the veteran Karnath and some criminal whose name I immediately forgot. It wasn't a fight but an execution, an appetizer before the main show. In the open air, Karnath toyed with the man, tapping his sword and dodging his pathetically slow attacks. When the crowd got bored and started booing, Karnath did a quick swipe and the man's guts spilled out onto the sand. The people roared and Karnath threw his arms up in triumph turned his back on the criminal and walked away to bask in the accolades. But that was when things took a horrifying turn. The criminal was a dead man. Nobody could have survived such a vicious blow. But instead of dropping upon his own with insides, he just stood there, looking at the intestines pulling out in the bloody sand. After a few breaths, the man staggered forward. I figured at last the fight would be over, but instead he surged toward his guts, dragging behind him and buried his blade deep into Karnat's back. A silent gasp overcame the crowd but as they witnessed the fall of their favorite champion. But he too did not stagger from the little blow. Karnat simply looked at the blade er erupting from his chest, spat up a mouthful of blood and pulled himself free of it. He turned slowly towards his would-be killer. In a rage, Karnat struck out and with a mighty clash of steel, knocked the blade from the criminal's hand. With the backswing, he cut the man's arm clean off the elbow. He knocked the delimbed criminal stumbled backward to recover his weapon, but Karnat had other ideas. The gladiator stamped the male boot down on the bundle of sand-covered bloody flesh that snaked this way from his opponent. With a with a half, he pulled the criminal back towards him and proceeded with a series of cool attacks that could not only be described as butchery. The crowd watched in silence, horror and awe frozen of their face as Karnat delimbed the man who screamed all the while for mercy but he would not die. His blood had long stopped pumping but still he would not die. Exhausted and confused, Karnat stepped back from his bloody work. The criminal now just the remains of a torso and a head gasped and screamed. The gladiator slowed and walked out of the arena towards the barracks of a dark purpose up in blood-drenched sword still clenched in his hand. The crowd remained for some time, stunned by what they had witnessed. Nobody came to help the butchered man who still clung to life at the center of the arena. Though not a word was spoken, our minds were as one. We all feared whatever my lady had struck him so would befall us too should we get too close. How strong were we to think that the curse had already claimed us all? 
Ma Plavos, first son of House Plavos. Okay, so that's basically the first account of this plague. This curse that befell them. That basically... Yeah, doomed them to be alive. Even though they wanted maybe to die, but they couldn't. They were just... Yeah, forever doomed to live. No matter how severe the injuries are. Wow, that's a pretty... Interesting... Uh, thing to happen. For sure. It became night. Uh, okay. So now we're heading back here to find this place where we went into the... Oh, where we have to go into the cave. Smuggler's Pass, where we found Elsa. But, um, this we will do in the next episode. We're already end, at the end. And, uh, yeah, after this horrific account of the events that led to the... Or oh, that showed the first, uh... Yeah, first uh, outbreak of the curse, basically. The first signs of it. After this uh, horrific uh, experience, I hope you're still kind of in a good mood and that you can sleep tonight very well. So, I hope to see you in the next episode. If you liked what we did here, then show me with liking the video. Subscribing to the channel would be amazing. And see you in the next episode, I hope. Until then, stay healthy, take care of your limbs, <laughs> take care of yourselves. See you in the next episode and bye-bye!